Surprise, surprise. Hello? Testing one, two. Hello? 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 Let me see if I can hear myself. Surprise, surprise. Oh, there we go. All right, so now that I can hear myself, I don't feel as as, as doofus as I was. So let me let me redo that intro. Hello, everybody. Stark here. And we are under a severe storm warning right now um, until 10 o'clock and tornado warning until 9. So if I do lose connection, I do apologize. We'll just have to pick this up another day. But I do want to thank you for being here. And anyone who lives in the south, uh, Alabama, Georgia, Mississippi area, please be safe and seek shelter when needed. Um. Just a couple of things. Uh, I was I was going to stream this game earlier, um, but um, my cat's meowing. And she's like, let me in the office, please, because here's what's going to happen. If I let her in the office, she's going to be sitting right here, face in front of the camera, or butt in the camera, you know, and it, it's, it's, it doesn't work out. <laughs> and then she types on my keyboard. But um, so if I do have to end the stream because I hear t tornado warnings, uh, you'll know why. If the storm knocks out my internet, you'll know why. Um, but I have been thinking about this game a lot. I was going, to, but we went to go see Light Night with the Devil. I highly recommend that movie. Like, let me tell you something: go see that movie in theaters while you can. It's it's an extra do. Let's let's get into the game. Oh. <sighs> There we go. My cat's banging at the door. She wants it so bad. I love her to death, but she can be just a little needy at times. I never really spoke to him before. A war medic, huh? Yeah, and according to Reggie's notes, John keeps all of his old equipment at his I do house. hope we can finish this game. Something of a this hoarder. story right. has got me. Uh, five, four, two, zero, seven, three, five. Calling now. Let's hope you pick. Uh, who the hell is this calling me? What time is it? John, it's Forrest Nash here at KFAM. We have an emergency and we need your help. Forrest? If this is a work emergency, then it can wait until the goddamn morning. Okay. Just I had to think about Oh, sorry. This is a medical emergency. John, no, this is a medical emergency. A man has been stabbed by the whistling man or never mind. He he's badly hurt and he's going to die unless we get someone to him now. The whistling man? What kind of joke is this? John, we're not kidding. A man is going to die if we don't help him right now. A man's going to die, guys. But we believe in you. What's his condition? He's at 25 Nancy Drive. I think we got his friend to stem the bleeding, but he's gone into shock. He's passed out right now. You say he was stabbed? Do you know the extent of his injuries? From what we were told, he has two major stab wounds. One to the stomach and one to the... Well, after all that excitement, I think we could use some music. Sorry about that, guys. I was just made, but sure. <coughs> Excuse me. There. Let's roll. You got it. We've got another call coming through, too. When you're ready, shut the music off. Oh, we have another call coming in. But... Uh oh. What's up, Peggy? It better not be Dawn. Jim Maxie says, Hey, Stark. Getting a lot of calls, breezes in the stream. Peggy? Yeah, the weather's really bad in my You're area. You're gonna want to take this call off the air. Who is it? Just do it. All right, folks, it's time to help you sit back and relax. We'll be right back after this. All right, let's let's take this off. Uh, yeah. I want to 
gonna play this one. Just cause. How's it doing now? Still messing up, huh? Uh, I hope this is good news, Peggy. Who have we got? Find out for yourself on line one. Hold on. Okay, line one. Hello? Forrest, I'm glad I got back through to you. Hey! Sounds like it's been a busy night, huh? Surprise! It's Leslie, our 911 operator. Yes! She's leading the charge from Henderson to come save us. It's so good to hear from you. Are you okay? I am. I'm driving back with an officer from Henderson now. We got back into radio range a little while ago. We've been listening in, but haven't been able to get through until now. It's been non-stop since you left. Please tell us you're bringing help. Seems you bet. a little bit more stable. I'm leading a whole but... goddamn squad. Yeah, unfortunately, my internet is bad right now because of the storms. The they had no idea what was happening. That's great news. That's crazy about the phone lines, though. Hmm. Do you think the whistling man cut them? I'm guessing so. I don't know how he, how she. How I do want to play this again. And try to save everybody. Listen, we're coming in hot, but we need your help. I know Gallows Creek isn't a big town, but if we don't know where the whistling man is, we can't get him. Her. Ooh. That's where you come in. Okay. You can count on us. What do you need? It might be a long shot, but here goes. I want to catch this jerk. The whistling man already called up a few times. I bet she calls again. Hmm. We're still a little ways out of town, so if she calls, stall her. Buy as much time as you can for us to get in. And while you're talking to her, try to figure out where she is. We'll be listening in. So once her location She's is known, in the radio station, probably. End this nightmare. I'll do my best. I know you will. I'm scared. Heck, I can see the headlines now. Boris Nash's interview of a lifetime. Anyway, I'll radio the other cars and tell them the plan is a go. Hopefully the next time I see you, it'll uh. be... Welcome back to The Scream with me, Forrest Nash. The line is lit up, but before I get to our next caller, oh. I just want to say, things are looking up. It's almost over. But for now, let's bring in our next caller. Yeah. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash. Hello, Forrest. This is John Hedges. I'm here with Casey. We're preparing to move him to the hospital. Thank you so much. If you hadn't been there, then... God, I don't even want to think about what would have happened. Of course, Casey. We're just happy he's okay. John, Casey, you two did all the work. Tell Jason to get well soon Excuse from me. us, whenever he's up for it. But why don't you tell him yourself? This forest? The one and only. I hope you're feeling better. It's good to hear you, Jason. How are you? Oh, well, you know, I've got a hole in my stomach. Don't now, we all? There's a knife in my leg, but well. John gave me something to take the edge off. So I'd feel even better than either of you. <laughs> oh. Take it easy until you get to St. Gabriel's. I will. But, uh, before that, I, I needed to call you. Oh? I'm guessing the whistling man is still out there. Hold on, guys. Yep. As far as we know, anyway. Well, I was worried you'd say that. God damn it. Actually, I'm glad you called. I wanted to talk to you about what happened earlier. Go for it. Casey said when you were attacked, your assailant said something like, It's not so funny now. Mm. Do you know what they meant? I do. And I've heard that voice every day in my head for almost 20 years. Every day? Does the killer live in Gallows Creek? No. Not exactly. Hey, guys, I'm really sorry, but there's a call on the other line. I just need to make sure we don't have another situation brewing. You fill Jason in on what happened. I'll be right back. Forrest, 
Have you ever heard of somebody called I'm worried. George Barrow? The boy who drowned? Jason? I'm part of the reason my best friend is dead, Forrest. Mm -hmm. And the few who knew about it said if I ever said anything, I'd find myself in jail for a long time. Uh oh. It was hell. And then the town just moved on like he'd never existed. Who killed George that night? <sighs> Come on, say it. Some of the guys on the football team yeah. had an idea for a way we could haze the newcomers. We decided to plan a party in the woods and have the whistling man crash it. It was stupid. We each had a role. I was the stabbed friend. Mm. The party that night, I left the group for a second, met our whistling man, pretended to get stabbed in front of everyone, started an almighty panic, those screams. That was the last time I saw or heard George alive. How did George die, Jason? I don't know. I was playing dead. But when I heard her scream... Her? Yeah. George's girl. Do you remember who she was? Yeah. He called her... It's Bean. the girlfriend. I heard her again tonight, Forrest. Her name was... What? That scared the crap out of me! How do we get it back on? Uh -oh. Emergency generator? An emergency broadcast? Fair point. It's in the storage area in the far back corner. Up on the wall. Oh, crap. You might have spotted it earlier when you were digging around for all those tapes. It'll have a big red button. Just press it. Hold on. Before we do this, <clears throat> I want to make a hundred baskets. <laughs> Just to see if uh, it's a trophy. Oh. I'm scared. I know, right? Like, I we know... The name she's been giving us, like the Dawn. And so there's that. But I'm worried she's already in here trying to, to kill us. Alright, three more, three more, guys. Just three more. Oh. Sad day. Oh, two more. Yeah, two more. Kobe. One more. Just. Uh. If you can tell, I'm scared and I don't want to leave this room. I don't want to die. Hey, zombie, how's it going? I was thinking about you earlier today. I need to get all my Yu Gi Oh cards out and put them together. <laughs> All right, we're going to the basement. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure this game's wrapping up at this point, so just kind of bear with me. We're going to the basement. Why is that so much clearer now? That wasn't that clear earlier. I guess the light pollution, maybe. Oh, this is sucks. This is gonna suck. Actually, um, I was looking into Yu-Gi-Oh games, and apparently they're doing a 25th anniversary. Huh. Far back corner. Why is this station so big? I question that, too. Um, 
they're doing a 25th anniversary Yu-Gi-Oh game with all the old Yu-Gi-Oh Game Boy games and such, and previously unreleased only in Japan um, games too. So I was like, you know, that would be kind of cool to get, maybe to stream. I asked about my coat. I got asked about my collection from DLA. Maybe I'll do a short video on the cards and decks. Uh, too many things to put here. Oh, that'd be awesome. That would be so awesome. I'd love to see your collection. Like, I was, I was telling Omega after the stream, like, how much. That must be it. Ooh. Boom! We've got power. Oh. The whistling man. I need to warn Peggy. It got revealed uh, back in February. There's two things they revealed uh, that and. I don't like the way it's flickering. That and uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! VR. And if they do Yu-Gi-Oh! VR, I'd love to get that too. We must help Peggy. Peggy must be helped. Oh. But if you, if you uh, did a video on your, on your cards, I would love to see that. What the hell? Oh, 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 what was that? 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 What was that noise? What was that noise? Oh. Huh? Uh-huh. Peggy, please be okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not Peggy. Peggy, where'd you go? Oh, good lord. This can't be happening. Hey. What? What are you doing? Uh, a, a call. What do I push? Oh. Where's Peggy, Don? Have some patience, Forrest. It's almost the end of the night. Almost the end of the show, but it's not over just yet. I hate you. Got a little time still, so let's make the most of it. What do you mean? Make the most of it how? Well, huh? I thought we'd end tonight's Whistling Man special with a special guest. The one who started it all. Oh, let me take that out of here. Mountain. You crazy bitch! Let me go! Welcome to the air, Mr. Teddy Gallows Jr. Oh, you can have him. It's all gonna come out tonight, Teddy. Your daddy and his money saved you 20 years ago. But he made you cruel out of his coffin with all the money in the world. Wait, where the hell is Teddy? How, how are you talking to him if you're here with me? Because I'm not there with you, Forrest. So there were multiple killers. Wait, then who am I looking at? Forrest Nash, let me introduce you and all of Gallows Creek to my boy, Henry Barrow. Your son? You mean you? <laughs> Wait, that he? Yes, Forrest. <laughs> Of course, that explains how you were always able. To I know, right? Just quickly. hearing the whistling, and you're like, hey. "That's how you escaped the secret archives in the newspaper office." Don't think I've forgotten about that, Forrest. Well, my sweet boy away like an animal. Listen, I, Mrs. Voorhees. Did you say barrel? That are you? Let me just get this mask off. Damn uncomfortable thing. Crazy there we go. Marie? Marie Campbell? George's old girl. Oh. I think we kind of knew that, didn't well, we? It sure has been years since I last saw it. Oh, God damn it. Oh. 
Oh, um. I'd be quiet if I were you, Teddy. Yeah, we don't but like I, Teddy. I'd listen to Forrest. Everyone's gonna know now what Teddy did. He killed George that night. This night. 20 years ago. Listen to me. You. Ah! You're gonna talk when I talk to you. And not a moment before. Meanwhile, Forrest, I'm gonna give you the chance to talk. No, I You're gonna help me reveal what really happened to George all those years ago. Eh. Okay, Marie. I'll do it. Good. Then let's talk about the night George was murdered. Murdered? Uh, listen, I... I said you speak when you're spoken to. Oy vey. Now, I know you've done some good work tonight in piecing together what happened to George 20 years ago. And that's why I want you to interview us. Interview you. Uh, all right. I can We're going to play her game. We're going to play her game only because I don't want him to die. Do a good job. And hell, you might be the only one to leave here alive. I need to drag this out. If I can buy Leslie time to get back to Gallows Creek. And if I can find out where Marie is... Then this can end. True. Teddy, we'll start with you. Just, uh, talk me through what happened that night. How did it start? How would I know? It was Isn't 20 it a good idea to take off? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Do you want to die, Teddy? Because if you don't, start talking. <coughs> what the hell? No, answer gotcha. question. You're a bad person. It was scheduled. I had an idea for a way we could prank the new guys. I understand that kids in Gallows Creek know to Jason. Like he just been stabbed. And the whistling man. Everyone screaming. George and I and Ricky, we got left behind. Wait. Ricky was there? Roller Ricky? He was. He was in on the whole thing. How did you know that Ricky was in on it? Teddy and Ricky were as close as anybody. I can't believe for a second that Ricky didn't know the plan. I never told him. Damn mm. it. If Ricky had told us, then he just told us. He and George would both be alive still. Hmm. Well, if Ricky weren't dead, we could have heard his side of the story. It was just a stupid prank. I'll go to hell, Teddy. Oh, come on. I... Oh, God damn it. You made George think Jason had been murdered. He thought his best friend was dead. And so I don't really like Teddy. You stabbed him for real? It's the role he wanted to play. Jason's still alive, Marie. He was with a friend. We talked her through how to stop the bleeding and got him professional help just in time. Oh. Good sense to die earlier. He's gonna regret that. Enough about him. Me and George took off running, but and then, I don't know how he snuck up on me, but <laughs> the whistling man grabs me, ice cream, and he starts laughing. Ooh. It's just a joke. I could stall for time here. Tell me. What happened next? I suddenly recognized it was Chuck. Chuck, Brody, was the whistling man, laughing away. But then he stops, and he's looking up at the top of Whistling Point. What was he looking at? <laughs> Teddy, what happened next? Nothing. I mean, uh oh. 
It was just Teddy. Oh, Mega Ace Gaming in the house. How did you know what happened? I Pick -a saw it. You pushed him. Pick -a you were up there. <laughs> Playing with the killer. I didn't push him, god damn it! I just chased him up there and he kept backing up. When I saw he was about to go over, I reached out. That's what you saw. You liar! It's not my fault. He didn't know it was a joke. See, another brain, reason why I want to go back and save everybody, because we could get more of this story fleshed bitch. out. It's only one person's no story right now. Hers and Teddy's. After all, well, I mean, it's two people, but I want to hear more survivors. If she's lying, why the cover-up? My future was at stake. Ash, Just got back from the dentist. Like. I'm sure you were a good boy and you got a lollipop. That's an evil thing to that say. That is truly Teddy. evil. That's the way it is. My father agreed with me. You no. never found his body, Murray? I looked all night. Jogger found him the next morning, washed up on the river. Instead of telling the truth, I'm kind of. She lied. One gym. Oh, she poor buddy. I mean, Our one's jazz not bad. Sandra Sharp. Guess we'll never learn why she lied now. Everyone was in on it, Forrest. Even the coroner wrote a fake report. Said George was drinking. That he just got himself into uh, did trouble. You, did you at least and get a lollipop? I I'm, I'm sorry. If they didn't, I'm gonna be mad. Survived, then maybe. There's no excuse for what she did, Forrest. I we could be asking the tough questions if, if people had not died. Went to the newspaper, but no, that coward killed the story. We'll take care of Maurice Russell later. No. When will the killing end, Marie? End? When does it end? Yes. You can't kill the world. This has to stop sometime. It has to. It never should have started. I shouldn't have pushed my door to the grid. It should have been punished. I might be having it's my wisdom teeth removed next week. It's proven I had two removed Here. a long time ago. I had only problem, but I can't have any food for that. Oh, okay. Yeah, I had all four taken out. Like, if your teeth normally sit like this right here, one of my wisdom teeth was like this. So they had to do an... Hey! Hey! I didn't hear... I didn't hear crap. Oh... Uh... Hi, um... You're at the football field. Jesus Christ! Forrest, you idiot! We're in the gym at Gallows Creek High! Yeah, that's what I meant I to say. I not to do that. Wait! <laughs> He's... That's a kind of cool mask, actually. Dead, too, now. Isn't he? He is. Anyway... Yeah, wisdom t having wisdom teeth time. taken out sucks big time, so, so my prayers are with you, buddy. Murray? Look at this mask looks like. Ah! Peggy! Teddy! Peggy, it's been so long since I've seen your face. Come on. I'm worried you wouldn't come. And here I was, thinking. Did I get everyone killed? I'd never forget my own sister. What? Ah! Forest seems lost for me. Yeah! When I explain, Peggy. Earlier, while you were speaking to Jason, I 
I got a call. You remember? <laughs> he was choking on Peach Cobbler. <laughs> he said that my sister Marie was there that I night. I should have rewound the stream. I'm sorry. And that I, should I don't want to cheat. This is just my blind playthrough first. When you walked in, you found out. That You're at the dentist. My sister is the whistling man. Good to see you too. Oh, that's terrible. Why didn't you tell me any of this. She said that it was my last chance to see my sister. I knew if I told you, you'd try to stop me or come with me when we need you on the radio. Hi. And I just. Uh, I'm sorry. This has to be boogie, boogie, boogie. a lot for you. I just, what happened to you, Marie? You just disappeared one day. Disappeared. I was thrown out. Hey. Hey. I bet hey. do something about it. But did they care? No. They don't need to stay quiet. Hey. They care. Boogie, boogie, boogie. I've been with George. It's not your fault. Really, it's mom and dad I should be seeing right now. Mm. But since they're dead and gone, well, oh. I'll have to settle for the next best. No! Thing. Don't. Marie, listen to me. You don't have to do this. Someone has to pay for what they Let did. me pay! Marie, please. Mom and dad are gone, Peggy. You psycho. Right. Psycho. You forgot me. Just like the rest. Mm. God. Marie, Peggy never I wanna, forgot about you. I want to save her. her. Mouth shut. She kept a card from you. She, she kept it here on her desk. Right here. A card. The card you made me for my eighth birthday. What does it say then? It. Happy birthday, Peg. Now you're great and eight. Love, M. I. Well, I. I never forgot you! Well. No one's gonna forget now. What?! Peggy! No! What the heck?! Take me to him. Take me to the SOP. <laughs> Take me to I'm I'm gonna kill you! Let's go! Wait a minute, just back off. Don't come any closer. Oh, oh. Come on, let's go. Oh! No. Oh, he punched me. Rude. She said like she fell in the mud. Yeah, that's what happened. She didn't die, clearly. Oh, it shows you all who died. I kind of like Forrest. That's a little scary. Oh, go, 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 go. <laughs> He runs like at work, but want to swing by and drop a like. Thank you, buddy. I do dig the music. That was a lot to take in, guys. So yeah, when my top wisdom teeth were removed, the roots were so deep, it caused a perforation into the nasal thing. Oh buddy, I am so sorry. At least Eugene's alive. Eugene! Ooh, it does look like Eugene. This is Jason. Gallows can stay dead. Heather's alive. Chad's alive. Hot. Hot team! Murphy didn't make it, unfortunately. He looks about right. I didn't think Peggy looked that. Sammy. 
Cynthia, poor Scott, Jennifer, Kyle, Roller Ricky, I accidentally let into the house. Is this Team Raw's got bigger guns than Doom? Dr. Doom, hello, Carla. Virginia. Martinez, the girl at the beginning. Chuck. Seth and Lisa. What was that? A moth. What's that attached to? Let's dance to the music a little bit. Eat. Oh, let the dog pound is here. Who is ready for WrestleMania? Puppy Master's all here. Wait. I swear. Okay. I thought something was going to come up behind me. <laughs> all right. So. It buffered a bit. Oh, that sucks. Russell Mernia. Do we start a new game? I think so, right? Start a new game. Try to save everybody. <laughs> yeah, let's see something. On. Yeah. Oh, I'm buffering you a little bit. Hello. Start with another round. Okay, as the request of Omega Ace Gaming. Let's let's try to save some people. We are going to try to save our comrades this time and not get anybody killed. Get the full story. Yes, we know the controls. Hold on. Captain America! wonder is it possible to start the power before I'll take no for 200 Alex I will take not today, Satan. Not today. Use this right here. There. The killer can't get me. He can't resist the cheese. I don't want to go in there because that's death. All right. Start can announce WrestleMania this year. Oh, thank you, Billy. I appreciate that. <laughs> I appreciate that so much. No! Not the killer. 
One Nestor Omega, Bray Wyatt was his character, but his real name was Wyndham. Wakanda. Yeah. Good night. You, uh, you hear something, Peggy? Huh? Hear what? I thought I heard someone yelling, or, I don't know, uh, how? Forrest, is this a joke? No, I, <laughs> I almost swore I heard something. Oh, and here I was thinking you'd finally started to ease up. You probably just heard some cats outside. Cats? You know, four legs, whiskers, tails, not dogs. Alright, we're gonna pull up a walkthrough. <laughs> I know what a cat is, but I mean, does Gallows Creek have a straight cat problem or something? <laughs> not since the rats moved in. Anyway, Ooh. you ready to do the pre-flight checks? Seriously, do we have to do these checks every time? And do you have to call them that? Reggie pays us to check the equipment before each show, and he pays us to call it a pre-flight check. But if you're sure you don't want to... Every character... Oh... Uh, Let's just check. get started. I know how this goes. Okay, Big Shot. Any technical failures tonight are on your head. Now, let's get the show started. After your introduction, our first segment is Guess That Scream. I thought that was And I'm going to be picking some nope. and don't blame of me the for this other one. answers. It's Reggie all the way and he that I didn't pick sometimes. Okay, you're live in 3 2 189.16. All work together to help Martinez. As Good evening, Gallows stuff. Creek. This is your host, Forrest Nash, and you're listening to 189.16 The Scream. Before we start taking your calls tonight on Gallows Creek's only late night phone in talk show, I need to let you know about a special competition we have for you this evening. Guess that scream. This is actually one of the station manager's better ideas. Here's how it works I'm going to play you a scream. Then you call and <laughs> not even sorry, Carlos says. Scream. We need you to guess why they're screaming. Did they stub their toe, saw off a finger, or discover the corpse of a loved one? That's terrible. That's good. Now, Forrest, hit them with the tape. We'll play that scream in just a second. Listen close, and then call in to guess that scream. Woo! Peggy, what do you mean play the tape? I just have a tape guy. Now, last for time. It. You're not in Chicago anymore, Forrest. Here in Gallows Creek, you get to be your own tape guy. I know your Come secret, on, I and I hate you. Today. Forrest, you do have the tape right. You knew we were doing this tonight. No. Hey, let's be real. Guess that scream is a terrible idea. No, I, I don't have the tape. It may be a stupid idea, but that doesn't mean it can't be fun. <laughs> We're going to need a scream tonight, Forrest. And you're the one at the mic, so... Mm -mm. Let's see, are you serious? I hate what I've become. I used to go out all across America. Be a little bit jerk. And jerk. now I'm just screaming into a mic in a backwater town. <laughs> Jesus. Come on, Forrest, just do it. It's enough dead air already. All right. Just think of a scream and let it rip. Oh, God. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm back. I had to step away there for a second. Listen close, and then call in to guess that scream. Uh-oh. Um, so we did the drowning scream. Let's do the perturbed yeti. <laughs> <laughs> that is also the same scream I make after Almost. Taco Bell. There you have it. Call in with your guesses, and if you get it right, you could win two tickets to the amazing Maze Maze and one free fried dough. Where's Bubba and Chop Top? I know. The, Just call in it gets crazy. This, this ending's crazy. KFAM with your guest. Now, here's some music. So I taught, like, I'm calling Omega after this stream just to hear that. See you, Jim. Thank you for coming by, buddy. Ask Processor with their hit song. F these people, I'm out. ADX. Oh, God, Forrest, that was amazing. <laughs> That's going to be the highlight of my week. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, Forrest, there's a call coming in. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. I know what to do. Welcome to 189.16, the screen. Ghostbusters! Call. You're talking to Forrest Nash. What's going on with you tonight? Forrest, thank God I made it through. My name is Leslie Harper. Yeah, we're going to try our hardest to save these people. For Gallows Creek. Oh, uh, see. So well, Leslie, I guess it must be a slow night for crime if you've got time to call in. What can we do for you? Slow night? Forrest, I found a body. I need help. Forrest, I recognize her voice. I'm pretty sure that actually is our 911 operator. I think this is real. Peggy, I'm not going to be happy if this is a prank. I don't do prank sex. I actually on my thought shows. this was it's a prank at contract. one point. Forrest, I really don't think this is a prank. Leslie, I'll level with you. I find this hard to believe, but I'll hear you out. What exactly is going on? Sheriff Matthews is <laughs> dead. What? Sheriff Matthews is dead? I couldn't get any response. Sheriff Matthews? That's never happened before, so I came to the station and... I found him. Oh, God. Poor Sheriff Matthews. Do you know what happened to him? Someone got him. Someone got up. Very close, and I really I'm don't sorry. Want to say what they did to him. Well, let's check chat for a minute. I don't know. I think he tried. He's surrounded by bullet casings. I think he tried to shoot at whoever it was, but... Wait, was Jim really uncomfortable? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Well, is, is anyone else at the station? Anyone who can help you? Or, or who might be responsible? No, I checked everywhere. Deputy Martinez is here, but she's knocked out, tied up, and locked in a holding cell. I called you. Did y'all right really upset him? God, wait. Please don't tell me that this hick town only has two cops. Don't be ridiculous. Wait a minute, I don't know what's we going on. <laughs> but Officer Gunderson is on leave in Cancun. Leslie, do you have any idea who could have done this? Not a clue. <laughs> I didn't see anything on my way over. I don't know if you're legit Leslie, or just messing with me. You need to call over me. to Henderson or Quiet Ridge. They need to send someone over okay. to the department. Okay. No, no. I tried. You're fine. I okay. Okay. I was just making sure. I was like, wait a minute. I'll have to go there myself. Let them know what's going on and bring help back with me. But if you leave while there's a murderer on the loose, who's going to man the emergency line? Not That's me. That's why I called. Forrest, I've routed all 911 calls to come into you. He thrives in this kind of environment. Oh, okay. You can count on me. Cooperative. I'll do what I can. Thank you, Forrest. You're the only person with experience manning a phone line around here. You know they made this game in VR. Only person equipped for the job. Besides, there are lots of transferable skills between the sweets. The as long as it's not Lizzie sweets. It's like an interview. You ask questions to get information you can use. Keep people talking, you know? Guide the conversation and know when to jump in. You do know that I'm so good at interviews. They sent me from Chicago to Gallows Creek, right? So I've heard. But that doesn't matter. And besides, Ooh. there are two of you. You can talk to each other, discuss ideas, Ooh. work together. Well, Are you okay, Omega? On the job training right now. No. I have an emergency. No. I need to get an unconscious Deputy Martinez out of that holding cell. I've seen him. It looks like whoever I, attacked a pecan pie like it was a tall glass of water in a the desert. Is there any way oh, no. to reach the keys? No. There aren't any bars to the cell, and the door itself only has a food tray slot. And that's too narrow for me to reach through. Mm. There's got to be another way in. Mm. Oh, see. There's got to be another set of keys somewhere in that office. Those can't be the only one. Of course. Yes, there must be another set. Where might another set be? Uh, Sheriff Matthews. Maybe Sheriff Matthews had a set of keys on him when he... You know. I couldn't see any at a glance, but... I didn't really look up close. Yeah, save Martinez this one time. One second. Sorry, Sheriff. All right, guys. Turn you over Let me look at the guide real quick. Please don't stare at me. I. Oh wait, that might be them. I I, th I think I got the 
so Looks like Sheriff Matthews might have saved his deputy. I wonder if there's a the guide to kill everybody. They do. Give me a minute to untie Deputy Martinez. I'll be right back. So far, so good, I suppose. How are you feeling, Forrest? Yeah, that seemed to go okay. Maybe Leslie was right. Maybe we can handle this 911 business. That's the spirit, Forrest. I think you're right. Though, I have to say, I... Well, I really hope this is the only call like this we get. Same. Come on, Martinez. There we go. I'm just gonna sit you in your nope. office chair. I'll head to my car in a minute. I'm back. Deputy Martinez is still out cold. I'm taking her in the car with me to get help in Henderson. If the killer came back now, Martinez would be a sitting duck. That's a good idea. We don't want to take any risk right now. Thank you, Forrest. You and Peggy just worked together like you did earlier. You can do this. Now I'll be back as soon as I can. What? My car! My car is on fire! What do you mean it's on fire? How the hell? Did it just go up in smoke? What happened? Wait. Oh, sorry, what? I did it wrong. No, no way. This can't. Oh, Forrest, we have big trouble. What's happening? Oh, what's that noise? It sounds like whistling. Whistling? <laughs> it can't be. Oh my god. I can see him, but he's dead. I almost got it. Right? But that mask and how the hell is he? Who, Leslie? Who? The whistling man. The whistling man? Who's the whistling man? He was a serial killer back in the 50s. Wore that mask. But he's dead. He's... What the hell? Oh, God. I'll go back to chat once do I get to this part. Do you think he attacked Sheriff Matthews and Deputy Martinez? Yes. He's coming this way. Leslie, stay inside and lock the doors. Right. Shit, we need a new plan. My car is torched. We need to think. There should be police cruisers at the sheriff's office, right? Like, you should take one of those. I... Yeah. Yeah, that could work. Let me check if Martinez has any... Uh... I'll just... Reach into your pocket there, deputy, and... Yes! Got him! Keys for squad car three. I saw that parked out front when I got here. Nice one, Forrest! Ooh. Good thinking! But... Wait. How am I supposed to get us to the car? The whistling man is right there. The finger thing means the taxes. Deputy Martinez surely carries a gun, right? Could you use that? Deputy Martinez's gun is missing. I guess the whistling man must have done something with it. The sheriff must have a gun, right? Can, can you see it? There was a gun next to him. Let me grab it. I... Always Shit. empty. It's empty. He must have emptied it trying to defend himself. Let's see. Is there a weapon? There must be a weapon lock up in the station, right? Could you grab something from there? I saw it earlier, but as you might have guessed, it was locked. But maybe one of these keys I got earlier will help. Let me see. No. No. I mean, I don't want to mess no. this up. <laughs> Are, are there any other weapons lying around that you could use? I didn't see anything earlier. Um, uh, let me check Deputy Martinez's belt. All right. It looks like the whistling man left her with her baton, pepper spray, and taser. I can only hold one if I'm carrying Deputy Martinez. Which should I take? I mean, it's got to be the taser, right? Got it. I'm just going to grab Deputy Martinez and then... Wait. Do you hear that? No. I, I can't hear anything. Exactly. It's gone quiet. No more knocking. Be careful. I don't like it. Me neither. But it's an opening, and I've got to take it. Okay. Deputy Martinez? If you can hear me, it's time to move. Just lean on me. 
When you're not yep. strong. There you go. Are you sure about this, Leslie? No time like the present, right? <clears throat> so, here we go. Again, you're hooked into dispatch now, so I should be able to radio you when I reach the car. If I reach it. <sighs> Speak to you soon. Good luck, Leslie. That's one brave woman. Oh. God, I hope she makes it through this. All right, let's let's look at chat you know, real quick. I've got to say, this really wasn't what I expected when I came into work today. Well, they always say you have to be ready let's for see. everything in live radio. Oh, uh, let's see. Let's go back to chat. Oh, I think we've got Leslie back on the line. In a minute. I'm putting the call through. Hey, Lo, how's it going? Hello? It's so Morris? good to see you. Peggy. I'm in a few moods. Silly's one of them. Hey, Silly is okay. We're here, Leslie. So I, I guess you made it to the car then. Over. Sorry about the CB chat. Old habit. But yes, we made it to the car. My finger thing Debbie means Martinez the taxes. The is this for a different ending? Yes. Hey, Ruby. Hey, I'm sorry, everyone. I haven't been reading chat because I'm reading a guide. This playthrough. If you want to see the ending, uh, rewind. Because we just got the ending. Leslie, what's happening? The whistling! No! Get off her, you son of a bitch! Oh, uh, we're trying to get the best ending. Yeah! Take that! It shows you how many people die at the end of the thing. Leslie! What are you waiting for? Get out of there! Don't worry, Deputy Martinez. We're out of here. <sighs> Sounds like you handled that pretty well. That's two. Forrest, that taser, definitely the right Woo! Oh my god, I can't believe we escaped. Well done, Leslie. You saved a life. Just another day for you. Oh my god, yeah. But let me tell you, I prefer doing it from your side of the phone. <laughs> At least I'm about the How song, too. To <laughs> Gallows Creek is a nowheresville, but it's pretty damn close. It's going to take a while. Oh, two or three hours. Three hours each Ooh. way? Slightly less if I put my foot down. We'll do our best to keep everyone safe until then. Thank you. Just do what you did just now, and Gallows Creek is going to be okay. Anyway, once I'm in... Oh, I think Deputy Martinez is starting to stir. Yes! Forrest, Peggy, I've got to go. I'll be out of range soon, but I'll radio back as soon as I can once I got the cavalry. Try not to crash. We need you back in one piece. Good luck, Leslie. Feel better soon, Deputy Martinez. Woo! Folks, you heard it here. We've got a killer on the streets of um, Gallows Creek hold tonight. On. Please make sure to stay safe. And Leslie. When they quit talking, I'll say counting on you. We're gonna get back to the show, meanwhile. If you have anything on your mind or have any information about this whistling man character, then give us a call. We'll talk here on 189.16 The Scream. The Scream. For now, here's another hit record for you all to enjoy. Uh, it's David Scopo with all right. Moonlight. This is not what I signed up for, Peggy. This is actually insane. Did she really means. say it's gonna take her four hours? This guy's gonna kill half the town in four hours. Forrest, that's not helpful. I know, I know. I just... All right, so, Lo, there <sighs> are 23 people anyway? in this game that you can 50s. save or kill Edward depending Marshall on your Moon. answers Went and choices that you make, mask. right? So the first time I played through, I went in completely blind. I didn't know what happened. I didn't know what to do or where to go. I did get half the people killed, unfortunately. But I did some good stuff, too. And So now I want to see what happens when you completely save everybody. Police chased him up to Ellis Point one night. We call it Whistling Point now. And it was, well... What are y'all saying? The police cornered him. You are not playing fair. His body was never found. So is he alive? Dead? I mean, what's the story? Story is he's biding his time, waiting to take revenge on the town. All right. Or maybe that's it's someone the story. else. What's the truth? 
other than we have a whistling killer on our hands tonight, I don't know. All right, so we'll do our best. All right, copycat or ghost killer, I, I awesome guess we'll do low. our best. That's the spirit. <sighs> and see, low. The, the thing out, is, guess. what kind of listening figures do we get at this time? Hold on. On a Thursday after midnight could be around 35 so low another 35. thing isn't 3500 huh i didn't realize gallows creek was that large no 35 right. people so the thing is low best. the people you save are you serious we only have 35 Sorry. listeners 35. i got distracted yeah it's a school night <sighs> And what's the so the people you say is all a part of this great exactly. cover-up of this this killer, thousand. right? Oh. This prank that How happened many so many before? years ago. You know, and before my career exploded, and I ended up on. A and so the more people you save, people. the more of the story yeah. fleshes before out. That. So Around I would like to see the how the rest of the story goes. Big guess could pump that up to if it's okay 10, with you guys. 15, easy. Five thousand on the low end. We could only dream of that. Five million million yeah sometimes that's just the way it goes at least the whistling man hasn't killed me yet i guess yeah <laughs> i guess we're gonna I learn guess. a lot about perspective tonight huh oh we have a call coming in take it when you're ready all right let's save maurice hello caller you're live on 189.16 the scream is everything uh all right <laughs> i watched the start <laughs> Drove a bus through a crowd of people this game. Wait a minute. <laughs> okay, uh, who is this? It's Are a very you, uh, interesting game. Hello? Hello? Thank you, Ruby. I appreciate that. I do. Thank you, thank you. So, if my attention is off the uh, the chat, I'm reading a, okay. a walkthrough. What's your name and why are you calling in? Uh. Something like that. At least I can whistle. Know my name. I've come back from the dead to kill again. No one's safe. Oh, uh, let's see. Do you accept requests? I've got a list of names I'd love to see in the obituary. <laughs> Sacrifice to us. I, I mean, me. We want cheese dusted pretzels. I mean, I want cheese dusted pretzels. Or I'll cut your face off. Fair enough. Goddamn kids. I'm cutting them off. Not yet. I want to deal with them. Uh, we also want a mega goal. Yeah. <sighs> okay, so cheese dusted pretzels and a mega goal behind the gas station. You got it, whistling man. Stupid. Needless to say, I won't actually be going out to the gas station to buy anything for these kids. And none of you should be going out tonight either. We've got an actual killer out there. I don't know what you guys are saying at anyway, all. This next one's dedicated to all of you staying inside with your doors and windows locked. Um. Listen in to this next track from Late Night Lurkers, if you dare. Peggy, the hell was that? Kids pretending to be a killer who right now is stalking the town? It's a thing. A thing? Oh, kids around here. Do you, they pull pranks pretending. Without to be saying where you live, pretending to be this. Do you have any lurker? local legends? They think it's funny. Like ghost it's stories not, in your it's towns? It's not funny at all. And there's no chance that our whistling man was just a prank. That Leslie. No, that, that's real. 
Christ. Let's stay positive. We still have a show to do. We already have another caller on the line. No. Right. Let's do this. I was enjoying the music. Okay. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream. The stream. Forest Nash. What? I, I dialed 911. I need the sheriff right away. Okay, right. Well, I'm filling in for 911 tonight. What's your name and what's your trouble? Uh, my name is Sandra Sharp, and I need the cops now. Oh, this thing's out of order. I'm sorry, Sandra, but the sheriff is dead. We're trying to get help in from Henderson now. What? God. Listen, you've got to help me then. I drove to the edge of town for a jazz run, and now some psycho dressed like the whistling man is after me. Knife in hand. Oh, God. It's actually happening. You went out for a jazz run? What? What is that? What is it? It's jazz running, baby. Jazz running, baby. I went back to my car before I got slashed, but I dropped my key somewhere along oh, the way. No. I never locked the door, so I've got a place to hide. But I can't get moving. I think. Is there anywhere you can go? Is there anywhere else you can go? Do you have any friends nearby? Well, I'm not going back out there. I. Nine point sixteen, the scream, hosted by me, Forrest Nash, chat your a friendly bit. neighborhood radio host, mechanic and savior. We're just calling Sit Billy tight a troublemaker. While the record oh. spins, folks. This one goes out to you, Sandra. I'm an adult, and La Llorona scares me. Like, like I, I've seen that movie. Play a record, Forrest. I'm sorry. I'm scared about La Llorona getting me. Doesn't the station have a show about cars? The Tamora Twins or something. Timberline Twins talk motors. I don't need you. No, they're not even brothers. Really? I don't need you. The same, though. I know, but they're not even related. Shut it's up. Weird. I asked them about it once, and they got really sweaty and defensive. Anyway. Go see what you can find. I'm trying. The offices are out the door and down the hall. Shut up! Surprise, surprise. Let's see. Nope, wrong one. This looks useful. Ha! This looks useful. Eat. I forgot, I forgot how to, uh, there we go, yeah, um, there we go, all right, stop the music, you find anything? Yeah. I found a magazine about hot wiring cars. Well, so, that sounds perfect. Caller on line one. I Thanks, accidentally Maggie. messed this one up. My cousin would tell me they would hear her cry. No, T Baron, that's messed up. I want the legend of La Tiburona. Hmm. Leaves belly button cheese under your pillow. Eh. If one day you stream and tell scary stories, I'd be listening for sure. Well, actually, funny enough, you you say that, Lo. Um, I'm actually getting together um, a video. It, it won't be in a live. It won't be a streaming format. It'll be in video format of me dressed as a character, 
uh, telling stories. Well, some will be true, some will be uh, not true, and you'll have to decide whether they're true or not. And um, I don't know if I'm going to be reading all the stories or I'm going to get some of my you know friends to help me out with it. But um, it's something that's down. It's happening. It's it's in the works. It's just taking me a little bit longer to get the costume together. We're back with. But I think you'll enjoy it once once I do. Scream. How are you holding up, Sandra? Oh, the creep's looking through the parking lot, trying to find me. All right, let me, tools, let me get back to my. Get this hunk of junk moving. How do we start this baby? All right, so okay. Let me get to the part of the story that I'm at. Uh, why do you have to put this out of order? All right, so put. Put the screwdriver and turn clockwise. Put the screwdriver in the ignition and twist clockwise. Here goes, baby. I. I. Oh. Screwdriver's too fat to fit. What next? Unscrew the steering column. Thirty minutes. Is that right? There's a bunch of wires down here, all paired up, and oh god, my heart is pumping. Let's see. Do your jazz breathing. Don't panic. All right, so why? Strip and twist together the red and yellow wires. All right, we take the red and the yellow and we twist and we turn. Oh, perfect. I also see pink and purple wire, what next? So this is where I messed up, okay? I accidentally clicked this when it's this. Strip the purple wire and brush against the twisted wires. Okay, okay. I okay, made that mistake. Brush. That one mistake got the jazz singer or jazz runner killed. It, it's so dumb. Fantastic work, baby. Anytime you want to come down to the jazz studio, you get in for free. Woo! You just keep driving now, okay? And get home safe. Get home safe, Sandra. Will do, baby. Woo! And she killed a bunch of, bunch of people. We did it, Forrest! We sure did. Here comes another hit track that we're ja excited to share with you. And remember, if you're also having car troubles, then tune in to... Timberline Twins Talk Motors here on 189.16, Monday to Friday at 5. Take it away, Forrest. I still can't believe this is happening. <sighs> right? My like Gallows Creek didn't already have enough to worry about? What do you mean? Gallows Creek is a miserable place to live. Really? Miserable? Yes. Peggy, be honest, it's a dump. There's nothing to do here. Hell, I'm almost ready to thank this whistling guy for at least making things interesting. Well, I like it here. People are polite and, uh... I just use the force. Friendly, usually, if you get to know them. Come on, there must be something you like about this place. I guess some folks have been okay. You're not terrible, after a while. Not no, you are after terrible. A while? I don't like you. High praise coming from Forrest Nash. You know what I mean, Peggy. Right. I do. Let's check it's chat. It's Forrest Nash for I think you're swell. I think you're anyway, swell. I hope the killer is done for the night and that Leslie gets back soon. Me too. Can we at least call off that stupid <laughs> guess the scream contest now? Yeah, oh, the puppy that'd master. probably be a good idea. See you low. Thank you for coming by. Thank you, Lo. <laughs> Puppy Master. Caller on line one. 
Oh. Uh, stop the music. Now this should be the guy at we the, have a call waiting. the newspaper thing. Evening caller, this is Forrest Nash, I'll be right back, guys. host of 189.16, The, the Scream. And tonight's 911 stand-in. Hey, Forrest, my name is Brian. Uh, oh, Brian no. Ponty. Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. Hello, Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. What have you got to say about what's happening? Oh, I'm so happy that that Deputy Martinez survived. I've seen her a lot over the years down here at Ponty's Pizza. Oh, you did a really great job. And uh, as a thanks for all you did there, I just wanted to tell you that I'm sending you some coupons for Scream Pizza. Here at Ponty's Pizza. Wow, Brian. That's really good of you. <laughs> oh, I'm getting really in trouble with this. don't have to, though. Oh, it's the least I can do. And if you like it, well, you're in luck. <laughs> hey, Tiburon. We'll have you eating for pennies. Sounds great, bro. And let me tell you, the pizza we have is to die for. Oh. Hey, don't worry about it. It's all right. Oh, thank you, Forrest. Well, be I nice just too. hope I didn't put you or anyone else off coming on down to Ponty's Pizza. We've got a great special this weekend. One eighty. Our famous pizza deal. Wait a minute. So come on down to Ponty's Pizza this weekend. You've just got to pay for one slice to get yourself. God damn it! You're just calling in to advertise your shop. Peggy, hang up on him. Done. Yay. Oh, real quick, before I forget, it's probably time we played a paid ad. Now, a word from our sponsors. You know how to play an ad, right? Yes. The world-famous annual Gallows Creek Harvest Festival. Sure. He's back. Done. We got it all out on Giblet Field. We got the Little Miss Harvest Pageant, Princess Harvest Pageant, Harvest Queen Pageant, Cotton Candy, Corn Dogs, Cornhole, Corn on the Cob, Crokinole, Country Music, Can Jam, Jams, Jellies, Jamborees, Juggling, Roller Rickies, Roller Disco Lessons, Praying. We got baby crawling, balloon popping, balloons for sale, beard contest, horseshoes, hayride, hay toss, hey you there, safe donkeys and ponies, apple bobbing, firearm, fireworks, funnel cakes, fried dough, sheets, bitten sand licking, cracker cramming, and cat shop. And fake tattoo, face painting, puppets, petting zoo, amazing maze maze, square dancing, story swapping, spelling bee, quilting bee, and sewing circle, pie eating, lawnmower racing, hot dog eating contest, flower contest, and of course our famous gourd measure off. The festival is brought to you by Mayor Linda Cartwright, sponsored by Gallows and Sons Factory and dedicated to the memory of Garrett Miley, tragically taken from us last festival. Oh, I didn't mean to do that one. I can see why it's world famous. It's a highlight around here, Forrest. Oh, I am sorry to hear that, Peggy. All right, folks, welcome back to the show. We have a note from my producer. That's right. Come find me at the Harvest Festival tomorrow to grab your choice of a KFAM mug, sticker set, or poster. Mine's my chair. Let's see what our next caller would choose. Welcome to the Scream with right, me, guys, let's do Forrest this. Nash. Yeah, Leslie, this is Maurice Russell from the Gallows Reporter. I'm at the office. This guy just broke in downstairs. And... Uh oh. Wait, Forrest Nash? This guy I saved the first time. I want to speak to Put Leslie on. What? God, another one? Hmm. Leslie's driving to Henderson right now. She left me in charge. Why on earth is Leslie? Oh, never mind. Just put me on with Sheriff Matthews. Sheriff Matthews is dead. Dead? What happened? Did you witness the incident? Let me check the weather. Are you report. willing to do an interview for the reporter? I can cite you as an anonymous source, if that's a concern. No. We're live on the air. 
anything we say can and will be broadcast. Live on... Damn it. All right. There's obviously a lot more going on than I know. Yeah, you, there's a lot happening tonight. You said someone broke in. That's nothing to get worked up about. Some idiot kid just broke in. Dressed as the whistling man. <laughs> Let's see. They get worse every year. Uh, this We're still under a tornado wasn't even a disappointing twinkle in his daddy's Large eye pale possible? That's Marshall always fun. Mooney stalked the town. But I was there. I covered it. We're in the center of it right now. Maurice, I don't know what's going on, but he's back. The Whistling Man is back. Don't be an ass, Nash. Every don't year. Don't be happens. a booty. They think it's funny. Not a big deal, old man. But they didn't live through the terror 30 years ago. Anyway, I know for a fact. Speaking of which, when Edward are we getting Marshall some Omega O's? Dead. I don't know. I need some Omega O's cereal. Where are you now? I'm in the boardroom. Upstairs. We got security cameras all around the building. You can watch them on any TV set here. And this the set, set of the children boardroom. cheering reminds me of Carla. Maurice, is there any way you can get out of there? Ah, I sure as shit hope <clears throat> so, kid. But I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. That crash you heard was him tipping over my filing cabinet. Um, um, um. He's blocking the stairs. I'm guessing the stairs are the only way out. That's right. And it would take me a good few minutes to move those cabinets. We need to do something. But what? All we can do from here is... Forrest, I think I've got it. Why don't we call the killer? Let's call we the killer. We have a bunch of phones set up across the office, right? In different rooms, with different extensions. So we call one of them. Draw the killer away. And buy Maurice time. That could work. Exactly. It's worth a shot. I can hear you, you know. The son of no a bitch cares. hasn't killed me yet. Yeah, sorry, Maurice. Peggy and I were just trying to figure out... I think we're going to save him and call it today. Um... Right? I may stream some more tomorrow, save two people as we go. Plus, a Maybe plan three, of the entire office years. floor. All delivered while the killer is en route. I've got it. Thank God I've always been cool under pressure. Under pressure. Don't go anywhere. Alright, let's go get it. Yeah. You don't think the killer got him, do you? No. Mr. Russell. I'm here. Freak's going to be here any second, too. Go check your fax machine. Don't let me down. I'll go pick up that map, then. Go, Forrest! The fax machine's in the Run. office on the other side of the hall. I know where Thanks, it is. Buddy. Be right back. Okay, go to the office on the other end of the hall. Grab the facts from the before machine. Before we do that, easy. Before we do this, I would like to grab. Uh, I thought there was a tape. Maybe it's not here yet. Maybe I messed up. Oh well. Oh well. This must be it. <clears throat> we must save Maurice. Maurice must live. By the way, how is pollen in your area? It's it's trying to actively kill me. Hey, did you get the fox? Yes, I have. Time to turn the music off. Mr. Russell, you uh, you still with us? I am. All right, let's save Russell. You get my facts? Yeah, I got it right here. Good. 
I knew you could at least manage that. Okay, folks, we're back on the line with Maurice. Let's see if we can help Why him. Why didn't the killer Avoid hear the this plan? Man. Here's the situation. If there was two of them. The whistling man searched every room in the hall, leading up to the boardroom. And now, he's in the office next door. It's now or never. Mm. This plan of yours better work. I'm ready on my end, Forrest. Again, we want to draw the killer away by dialing an extension number. And then move Maurice somewhere safe. So, what extension should I call? Number three. Call the editor's office. The extension is zero three. Got it. I'll put the call through when you're ready. All right, Nash. Where do I need to go? You go to the kitchen. You're moving to the kitchen. Yeah. That makes sense. Go somewhere he's already checked. Not bad. Sometimes Nash. you're good. I'm ready to place the call. Are you ready, Mr. Russell? Don't have much choice, do I? Make, Make the, the call. call. Yes, sir. Calling now. Woo! I can't believe it. He's actually heading to my office. It was all Peggy's idea. Credit goes to her. Ah, uh, don't mention it. The coast is clear. I'm shutting off the TV so he won't see me on the security cameras. Then, making my move, I'll call when I get there. Do you think he'll make it okay? No. I'm sure he'll be fine. But now, what do we do? We twiddle we our thumbs. Find some way for him to get past that barricade. What do you mean? I don't think calling the whistling man is gonna buy Maurice enough time to move those cabinets. We gotta think of something else. Yeah. Maybe we could. Oh! Call incoming. You ready? Yep. Ready as I'll ever be. I put him through. Alrighty. Mr. Russell. Sorry, are you guys, there? I'm not talking. I'm, just, I'm concentrating on this. I am. I don't think he saw me. I gotta get I'm nervous because I don't want to mess this but up. I'm not out of the woods yet. Uh. Right, let's review where we are. So, the only way out is by the stairs, which the whistling man has blocked with furniture. Exactly. I can move the furniture out of the way. But not quickly or quietly. Could you lock him in a room? That'd probably buy you time enough, right? Maybe. But the damn fire regulation. Say every door in the office has to unlock from the inside. He'd be able to get out just as soon as... Wait. Wait, wait. No. No, no, no. I got it. The secret archive through my office. Where we keep our most sensitive records. Ooh, a secret archive? Reggie would love that. <laughs> what have you got back there? Juicy secrets about outer space? Mm -hmm. Ah. I didn't know you were into conspiracies, Peggy. I may have borrowed a few tapes from our manager's office. Borrowed, they say. quite the collection. Will you two chatterboxes pipe down? I've got it all figured out. The secret archive. All right, so. There's no lock on the inside of if that If he's room. in Only there, outside. you can't still break need out. to go there. We can get him in there, and I lock him in. We can catch the son of a gun. Woo! Exactly. Oh, my God. Forrest, we might be able to end the nightmare right here. If only. So should I call the secret archive then? You can't. The archive is a room for secrets, not gossip. So we don't have a phone in there. Oh, we're going to need to change it up then. Any ideas, Forrest? Maybe we could use a radio. There's no radio in the secret archives. Are there no radios at your offices? I don't have one in my office, but... What is it? Our sports reporter, Hopkins. He has a little portable radio he never turns off when he's here. I'm glad you got a radio fan there. Does he listen to 189.16, The Scream? Gallows Creek's best and only... I've always wanted to be a radio show host. Jesus, Nash. <laughs> I'd expect that level of self-advertisement from... Ryan Ponty, not you. Don't be a Ponty, Forrest. That's love. Will you idiots focus now? The 
This portable radio should still be here. <clears throat> it should be in the archives, actually. I'll sneak over while our friend is still distracted with his search. I'll call you back once I've got the radio. Okay. We're gonna save him, Forrest. Heck, if this works, we might even save the whole town. Ooh. We're close. Let's make it happen, Peggy. How can we fail? I mean, it's a plan with steps. Get the radio, plant it in the secret archives, lure the killer, and... Oh! Call incoming from the reporter. Putting it through now. Nash, hello? Nash, are you there? I'm yes. here. Is everything okay? I found the radio. It's right where I thought it would be. It's all coming together. I'm just going to turn it on quickly, make sure it's still got some juice. Maurice, turn the volume down. We don't want that thing blasting just yet. Yeah, yeah, I knew that, Nash. I was just doing that when you yelled at me. Bam, 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 bam. The radio works! If I make it out alive, Hopkins might just get that day off he wanted. Uh, he's earned it. Let's do it for Hopkins, Forrest. Wait. Ah, oh, God damn it. If I can't have this stupid thing turned up, how am I supposed to draw the killer? I can't be in the room when it's on, or I'm dead! You just... Oh, that's a good point. But wait! We're the radio! We can just be quiet until you're ready! Eh, if you can do that, then... Yeah. Yeah, sure. 189.16. Now, even when I know something for a fact, I like to double-check. But after your earlier self-advertisement, Nash... I don't think that's necessary. I've got the radio on silent, but I'm tuned in. Now, I just need to get to my office. Sounds like we need to make another call, Forrest. Where should we send the killer? Boardroom. Call the boardroom. The extension is 04. That might work. The boardroom is fairly close to the editor's office, but we haven't seen the killer go there yet. Are you sure? I'm sure. Make the call. Okay. Calling the boardroom now. He's on the move. I'll call you guys from my office in a second. Looks like we're almost through this nightmare. Any idea what you'll say to draw the killer in? I picked that last time. I'll pretend to tell Maurice to hide in the secret archive. The killer will hear me. Go check it out. And we've got it. Oh, I like that. Make the killer think he has the upper hand, and then BAM! I appreciate the vote of confidence. Ooh, call coming in. Here we go. I'm here. The radio's set up in the secret archive. Just give me the signal, and I'll turn it all the way up. Where will you hide in the meantime? I... Uh, uh, good question. It's under my desk, but uh, you can see under it. <laughs> I've got a big cabinet, but uh, that'll take me a second to get into. Anywhere else? Uh, not really. There's the secret archive itself, but uh, that's where the kill is going. I could try the cubicles, but they're pretty far away. Your judgment has kept me alive so far, Nash. What do you reckon? Hide in your cabinet. All right. Well, this is it. I'm going to go turn the radio up to full blast now. <laughs> Don't say anything I hate until that I've had time like to that. hide. You got it? We know the plan. You can trust us. Here we go. I think it should be safe now, Forrest. It's going to be all right. He won't look for you there, I promise. And Mr. Russell, be quiet. It's important you make no sound. 
Quick, Mr. Russell, hide in the back room in your office. <laughs> Listeners, this is Forrest Nash of 189.16, The Scream. And if you've just tuned in... See you in hell, kid! We've just locked up the Whistling Man. Forrest, you beautiful bastard! <laughs> I can't believe that actually worked! Come on, Maurice. Was there ever any doubt? There's no doubt. Thank God, it's over. I'll be off now. Gotta get out of here. Write That's up a three. few notes. Call a few friends. I feel safer waiting for the cops to come grab this freak with some company. Hey, maybe you I'm kind of glad he left because if he had stayed, he would have died. Reporter. I'll think about it. Let's see what tomorrow brings. I'll take that as a yes. Talk to you soon. There we are, folks. The Whistling Man is locked up. Woo! Let's all take a deep breath. And play some killer <sighs> tunes. It's funky. It's groovy. It's Stab in the Twilight by Knife and Easy. Looks like the night should be pretty easy from here on out. Right? Thank God that's over. I guess we got some downtime Who now. was the next person? I could ask you some questions to kill the time. You're gonna interview me. You sure about that? You're not so scary. Besides, we've been working together like a week now. And you're still all shrouded in mystery. Okay. <coughs> um, Alright. I need... I'm gonna go to ahead and save Victoria. One. Tell me about your Because family. she is one of the more important ones. Come on, Peggy. That, that's too general. Okay. Did anyone move with you to Gallows Creek? Nope. Just no, check that's too chat specific. while I'm waiting. Too specific? I... Do you have any... Let's see. Siblings? I don't. Hello, RoboHP. My folks are dead. Hello! Oh, sorry, Forrest. Mazen power. The power of Mazen? You're sorry, why? Did you do it? Of course not, I only- I'm just messing with you. Anyway, what about you? Any siblings? Your mom and pop still around? Everyone I knows chihuahuas are not questions. real. They you were made I'm just by Cyberdyne, sent back oh. into the past well, to destroy my folks went the same anyone way who yours. knows. Oh, what happened there? My dad walked out when I was about 13. He'd been a wreck for a while. Then he got himself into a wreck, and, well, that was Dad. Mom didn't take it well. She remarried pretty <laughs> quick after that. She wanted to forget Dad so bad, she even made Again, me take everyone, my stepdad's last name. Again, everyone, I do apologize so I'm for not Peggy being as Weaver active now. with chat tonight. Um, anyway, I am trying Mr. To Weaver this got game. sick one day, and my mom didn't last long after that. We're good until Virginia I'm calls. Sorry, that, Peg. Don't call me Peg. Yeah, now, sorry. if you remember, trying to be... we accidentally okay, got Virginia killed I'm sorry. because we called I'm the wrong place. We are to call name. Ponty's Pizza, according Any to siblings? the guide. Funny you mention that now. No. Not any Liar! I had a sister, oh, but okay. I haven't seen her since before my dad. Hold on. Someone just rang the door buzzer. Oh, what on earth could someone want at this hour? I don't know. Do you want to go check it out? Yes. Me? You sure you don't want to go? I can't leave the booth while we're on air. Okay. One of Reggie's K fan regulations. I'll pass you the key to the stairs. Thank you. You won't let me leave. Got the key. Okay. Down to the first floor, then check the door. Everyone do the dinosaur. Wow. Oh! That was ominous. I saw him this time. Tape. Play on air. He 
it is good to see everyone. In fact, I'll be seeing Robo HP this weekend for WrestleMania. So many locked doors, so few keys. Go ahead and take this. Because we will be needing it. What about John Cena? Who was there? I didn't see who it was. Are they still out there? No. They left as soon as I went down there. They pushed a cassette through the door. It says... Play, play me on, on air. air. All right. Well, Man, turn the music off Alabama and play it. It's just beautiful. Every time go through the beautiful landscape, it just keeps me up. Yeah, most definitely. And, and uh, Carla, a funny thing is this time of year, uh, everything's going to start blooming. Okay, right? Forrest, shut the music off. It's awesome. Hello, Gallows Creek. Time to pay the price. Time to pay for lies. Time to sit there. I will punish you. I'm going to enjoy this. I just hope you're safe from the storms, everybody. I did not enjoy that. What the hell was that? That? I. Oh. Forrest, we're still on air. Say something. Folks, the... Oh. <clears throat> Folks, the <laughs> tape you just heard Oops. was passed through our door only moments ago. I don't know how or why that came <laughs> through our door with the killer locked up, but be careful, Gallows Creek. Stay home and stay safe. Give us a call if you dawn. need help. You can Maybe. get us on 911. Oh, Poopy has to come out. I want to save one more person. Hey, we had a call come in. Now, hold on. All right, here's the KFAM station. I want to see where... I suppose I should take this call. I'll get it in a minute. The gal's reporter. So, yeah, he had time to get out and jut across there. Collar, you're on 189.16, The Scream, with... Ash! Shut up and listen to me! Mr. Russell? What's wrong? Are you okay? I said listen! He's gone! The Whistling Man is gone! He's gone? What happened? Well, after our call, I cleared the stairs and went home. I phoned some buddies. We came back here to keep watch. Then what happened? I'm getting to that. We came yeah, back we're getting here. pretty. We're getting hit pretty hard right now. Shut, just as I left it, we had a couple of drinks, and well, there was a bunch of us, and we were all armed. They thought we could teach the freak a lesson before the cops got him. I don't blame you. I would have been tempted to do the same. Have you both got a screw loose? You know what the whistling man's done tonight. This was not my idea. The guys just grabbed their weapons and unlocked the door. I braced myself and... Then? Then nothing. The room was empty. The door was still locked. How the hell did he get out? Are you sure it was still locked? I'm telling you it was locked. No way out of there. None. Maybe. I mean, I know it's crazy, but if he's back from the dead, then... Do you think he's some kind of ghost? Peggy? Some kind of ghost. It would explain things. I mean, how do we know he's not? Maloney. There's no way. Robo HP is my brother from another Whoa, mother. Did you say something, Maurice? Baloney. I said baloney. Look. I don't want anything more to do with this. I'm clearing out a dodge. And I recommend you 
And everyone listening, do the same. He seems really spooked. <laughs> Wouldn't you be if you got attacked by a serial killer who turned out to be a demonic spirit? <sighs> He's not a demon, Peggy. Yeah, you're probably right. But what do we do now? What's wrong, with Mr. HP? Thank you again, Mrs. McKenzie, for the helpful tip. <clears throat> the bagger at the grocery store cannot whistle. We'll remove her from the suspect list. Let's go to a break. I need you for a second. All right, folks. We need to take a quick break. This one's for all those folks out there keeping the hatches battened. Do you seek ancient wisdom? Do you want to double your power? Are you ready to unlock your inner warrior for only $24.99? Then step into Master Robbie. All right, Peggy, what's up? I pushed a cassette under my door. Go play it. Oh. Let me. Let me out. Thank you for joining us, Your Ruby. backwater station has not honored yeah. our agreement. We gave you Mr. Snatcher's newest single, the kind of honor you All right. never had. I've got had. it. And probably Did you forget never an ad or something? And I don't know. It was buried in my work now. Any I only just saw it. About when you're See what it says. Into your uh, busy play me ASAP. Okay, off right. air. That's Reggie's thing. handwriting. And he wrote it in purple. I know where the record is. Purple is Reggie's angry color. He only writes in purple when he's really pissed off. Don't worry about Gina. You know how she is. But yeah, I can't wait for you to hear the new single, man. What do you think he's angry about? I have no idea. Maybe. No. Probably not. I don't know. Just go play it. Uh, and Carla, that's the thing. Like, it's it's pollen terrible here too. My Jeep is like yellow right now. <laughs> if you can tell, I'm a little congested right now. <clears throat> Despite all the, uh, the medicine I've been taking. I don't think this is you. Alright, while we're here, we're gonna grab the friendship quiz, too. Oh, what was that? like it when it makes noises. Noises. Noises are bad. Noises are bad. I wonder if the tape's here yet. Alright, there, there, if I remember correctly, there was something right over here. Maybe it's behind this? But I remember... There being something. And maybe I just can't get it yet. By the way, there are so many mouse traps. Let me check just real quick, guys. Oh, I thought that was it. I was so I was excited. But yeah, thank you all for hanging out with me. Uh, it's always a pleasure. Again, getting to hear from you guys, getting to know that you got you guys are okay, safe. You know, 
it means a lot to me. All right, so I guess it's not there yet. Yet being the operative word. But you can't run in this game. Are you a big fan of Roddy? This must be it. Final breath. I need a key to get in there. <gasps> I love Roddy. I will always find you was my song. I wish we still had it in rotation. Oh my god. I can't believe you know Roddy Snatcher. And I can't believe he didn't tell me he sent you his new single. Blah, blah, blah. We have to play Final Breath. Where is it? My tiny selection grows. I love it's playing when... right now, actually. <laughs> oh my god, I was so freaked out by the tape, I didn't even notice. Yeah, I found it down in reception <laughs> earlier. Barbara had it hidden away. Yeah. Why was she yeah. hiding it? I mean, well, if that fiasco <laughs> last Friday about the missing knife and easy track is any indication, folks at I get scared a lot. <laughs> against hoarding station music for personal use. I think we're still missing a few tracks, actually. I do have a few Barbara! games. Oh, never mind. Sort of on Just the... listen to that music. God, Roddy's the best. He is. And more importantly, Push we it should to be the safe limit. from the worst of Gina Franklin. Do, do. Okay. If I can ever get to Victoria, I didn't know I was going to be streaming this long. And I think that's every time I've seen him live. Oh, good. Peggy, we just talked through the whole song. Oh, whoops. It's okay. I can just play it on loop later. Oh, shoot. I just noticed we have a caller waiting. Hush. I really hope it's nothing serious. Oh, I gotta stop the music. <laughs> Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash. Post the Scream! The Scream. And tonight's 911 stand in. This is Murphy! <laughs> All right, Hello. after this call, Murphy, uh, we may have to wait on Virginia. <laughs> Two things, Forrest. First, happy birthday to my son, Fernando. He's free today. And man, being his daddy has changed my life. I've learned how to live. <laughs> Thank you, Maz, and I appreciate laugh. that. <laughs> we love you too, bud. <laughs> how to love. Aw, happy birthday, Fernando. Uh, yeah, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Fernando. Thanks. Wait, this is a quick call. I'm putting the word out to this Cause this guy fights the killer, gets beat up, and we have to find out where they locked him up. Unfortunately, unfortunately, um, we got him killed. Are you gonna kick his ass, Murphy? God damn! Hey Lizzie, if you're watching, my next doctor's appointment's in two weeks. Oh no. <sighs> and there he goes. Ladies and gentlemen, keep your fingers crossed for Murphy as he tries to become our hometown hero. Hometown hero. <sighs> anyway, we'll be right back after this commercial. Oh, we gotta do a commercial. Um... Oh, I guess they want to play me play music. Screw you. Do you want a commercial or do you want? Stop it. Hit the button. Do you seek ancient wisdom? Do you want to double your power? Are you ready to unlock your inner warrior for only $24.99? Then step into Master Robbie's deadly dojo of Kung Hold on. and receive Hold on, guys. direct by video warrior instruction from me, Master Robbie. Master Robbie? No! 
So, Omega, I gotta admit something. I look down at my phone, and it says the usual uh, Kiona, Kiona? hard boil, boiled, and the G, the second, or the second G was covered by the heart, and it looked like hard boiled egos. And I'm like, what? What are you eating? <laughs> I got scared for a minute. This tape, I swear. You'll receive two additional VHS tapes. The tornado technique and karate love making. Don't forget that karate love making, guys. Do it like Chuck Norris. Do people really buy this kind of thing? Don't pretend like you're not interested. I mean, I wouldn't buy them, but I might watch them, I guess. Yeah, I bet karate lovemaking sure is something. Uh, I, uh... <laughs> is Forrest Nash at a loss for words? <laughs> Let's just get to the show. Wow, what a deal. Only twenty four ninety nine, And I'm not just saying that because they're paying for the airtime. Just ask yeah. Murphy. But unless they pay us more, then it's time to get the show moving along with our next caller. All right. Our caller. Please you know be Victoria. Hello, caller. You're live on the screen Scream. with me, Forrest Nash. I think this is Victoria. Okay. I too. Oh, he retracted his message. <laughs> Are you okay? Come on, Do you need Opa, help, Robo? Forrest? He called me? That horrible whistling down the phone. He's coming for me? Jesus. Listen, Colin, don't panic. We've done this a few times now. We can help you. A few times already? So, you saved them, or? We sure did. You're in safe hands. Okay. Now, we're going to help okay. Victoria, or we're Virginia. Help. Can you tell me your name, caller? I'm Dr. Sullivan. Uh, Virginia. Sorry. Take some deep breaths, Virginia. You're gonna be okay. Please don't let me die. Oh, this well, one's heartbreaking. Just calm down. Tell me where you are right now. What's your address? But she also kind of deserves it. I'm... Oh, God. Let's see. Uh, call a neighbor? Is there a neighbor you can call for help? No. Everyone's away tonight. Mm. There's just a fraternity down the street. You live by a frat house? Yes. They're having a party. That takeout coming in all night. Lawn covered in So, I had to look this one up. Virginia. Because I did frat? mess up. It's Any idea what sure. the frat might be, Peggy? If I knew where she was, I might know, but... Wait, the takeout! If we can get takeout to the frat, we can get a message to them to go and help. Sounds good. Virginia, who did they order takeout from? I don't know. She's about as helpful as a fart in a church. Come on, Virginia. Try to remember. I can't do this! Well, folks... Seems like our Virginia hung up. While we try to figure out what takeout to order, here's some music for your own midnight snacks. Peggy, what places do takeout in Gallows Creek? Off the top of my head? Uh, well... There's the barbecue place, Grilling Spree. And you can order from Chalupa Cabras. Chalupa Cabras. Oh, we have Ponte's Pizza. That's it, I think. All right. We'll call each place and ask who they deliver to tonight. That's not going to work. Take out client privilege. Boo. What? There was a lot of competition back in the day. Things got ugly. It's a long story. But what we can do is this. We figure out where the frat boys ordered from. Call the takeout, pretending to be from the frat. 
place an order and include a note asking them to call the station. <sighs> There's no other way, is there? Not that I can see. Well, let's not waste any time then. Right. That's the spirit. That's the spirit. You got any suggestions on where to look? Check the offices for anything food related. And maybe the kitchen downstairs. Ooh. You'll need a key for that. I'll just slide Ooh. it under my door now. Thanks, Peggy. So if this is how oh, I'm start. seeing her, what would make me when I was hiding from the killer earlier, he probably thought I was a psychopath. They have a food critic, right? Chad or Brad or... Uh... <sighs> I just have to look around. Why did he have to have the... Why is that window making a noise? <laughs> I feel like I'm being watched. I don't, I don't like this. All right. See how much it's smoky now? With the lighting? When he turned out the lights and I saw him, it, it freaked me out. Uh, I should grab that key Peggy slid under her door. Sorry. I got in too big of a hurry. Yeah. All right. We has key. We has key. But yeah, this is the season where we have a lot of bad storms, a lot of tornadoes. You know, some people say April showers, but like we had a really, really bad tornado a few, uh, or more than a few years ago, and um, it was it was terrible. A lot of lives lost, and so rooting through trash. This is a new low. It is Ooh. um interesting offer. I wonder how well Gallows High performed. It was terrible, and they made a mem memorial for it too. That was how bad it was. So I'm just making sure that I haven't missed. A CD or a record. Just kind of bear with me on that one. But uh, two towns got devastated by it, by the tornado, and. Um, like it's it still sticks with me to this day because I was working that night and um, it uh it affected a lot of people. Need the key. I'm not getting in there tonight. All right, let's call Ponty's Pizza because that is the the answer. Spree. I better see what's on this tape. Hey, give it back to me. I want the tape. But, um, uh, it, it's something that, uh, still bothers us to this day, sort of. You know, the, the tornado. I already know what's on the tape, so I'm just gonna put it right here. 
Alright, we're gonna call hey, Ponty's Pizza. Find anything useful? Yes, I have. That's great! Are you ready to get back on the line? Let's make the call. When you're ready, shut the music off. I don't okay, wanna... Forrest, what'll it be? Call Ponty's Pizza. You got it. Hey, dude, and garlic bread. Ponty's Pizza is on the line. Ponty's Pizza, may I take your order? Hey, dude, what's going on? Just reach out. Uh, may I take your order? Very, very much so. I need some garlic bread. Oh, I need the bread. I agree with you. Can do. Ruby. So where do you want that delivered? Uh, um, same place funny before, enough, you know, in 2016, right. we now had a tornado come, come over our apartment and oh, lifted up our Suzuki. Thing. Like the back tires, to the boom. That says to call and there was uh, sh uh, oh, shingles done. under the wheel oh, because he picked it up and slammed it down. The truck I next to us hit a board, animal. slammed it to the side, and the nails were stuck in the truck. And we had we were in the. Um, now we wait. We should put a sorry. song on. Agreed. This one goes out to our delivery workers. So we were in the uh, uh, closet. Lizzie was gra grabbed onto my leg. She was holding the hamster with the other hand. And, and I remember the apartment just the shaking. And it was terrifying. I still have pictures of it somewhere. I'll have to show you, show you guys. But it's terrible news. Like, tornadoes are no joke. So Wait, be safe. Don't think it's always going to be okay. To save Virginia? No. Wh where would you actually eat? Oh, I mean, they're all pretty equal. You mean equally awful? No, equally good. But if I had to order, not Ponty. He's not Ponty. Remember, Ponty right. is not so, Ponty. Between grilling spree and chalupa cobras. I mean, it depends. Do I want a plate full of meat, or do I want really, really <laughs> good nachos? Just don't, don't chew on your lips day, by you know? mistake, yeah, Omega. Yeah, please. Maybe I hold that thought, Forrest. We've got a call coming in. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. Okay, yeah. <laughs> hey, 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 this is Fretman Bunker. Woo. We got some garlic bread and a note to call this number. <laughs> yes. Bunker, this is Forrest Nash from 189.16. The, the Scream. scream. No. no, this is such a goose prank. Plunker, this is an emergency. I. Nice try, goose. I may be drunk, but I'm no. Uh oh. Listen, I need you to. Goose, come get beer. Your brother's awaiting for you. I'm not goose. I. How can I prove this to you? <laughs> Let me get a second opinion on this. Oh man. Really? What? The flow? Norman the Barbarian demands it. Okay, okay. I'll play the damn song. Oh, shit. Okay, okay. Radio Man. You got my attention. What is it? Thank God. Listen, you've got to get over to your name. Yeah, my phone's and, and just radio, radio, radio stays on constantly. Plunker's moving the house. Forest, line two. Hello, you're live on 189.16. The screen. Forest, it's the killer. Oh no. He's at the door. Grace. Oh my god, it's, it's you, isn't it? God, I didn't talk, I promise. Whoa. He saved her. Times are here. 
That sounds like something Robo would say. Thank you, Forrest. You're welcome, Virginia. And thank you to Plunker and his fraternity brothers. Some heroes wear capes. Some wear sheets as togas. Hmm. Hey, Forrest. Did you hear what Virginia said earlier? What was that all about? Clive, I didn't talk. Do you know what she meant? There's a janitor here at the station named Clive, but your guess is as good as mine. All right, folks. Seems we may have a lead. If any of you know a suspicious Clive, then please call in. It could save lives. In the meantime, looks like we have another caller. All right. Well, 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 well. Hello everybody, Stark here. And this is where we're going to end the stream tonight. Uh, I do apologize. Um, we're going to... If I have time tomorrow, I'd like to pick this up. Um, and get through some more of it. And so, we'll be doing that. Uh, Thursday, me and Omega finished a way out. So, I'll be looking for something else to do on Thursday. I might go back to this. We'll, just, we'll see how far we've gotten. If not, we'll play something on the PlayStation, like we normally do. Console Thursdays, PC Tuesdays. Um, I have been toying with adding another streaming day to my schedule. Maybe on Sundays, like in the, like lunchtime Sundays, maybe. Uh, we'll see. It really just depends on how busy I am. <clears throat> and if you guys even want to see it, you know? But, um, yeah, you guys take it easy. Thank you, Omega, for being here. Thank you, Ruby. Thank you, Mazen. Thank you, RoboHP. Thank you, Carla. Tiberon was here. Uh, Billy was here. I know Jim Maxey was here till till Billy bullet him out. I know how that is. <laughs> Be safe from these storms. Um, thank you for everything. So, if nothing else, stay cool, stay dry, but don't answer those phones. If it's the whistling man. Bye-bye.